Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Today, we will show you a custom HDMI controller board that drives 2.69 inch OLED. The response time of this OLED is just one mes, only one minutes. The thickness is very small and it has an on-cell touch panel. The touch IC, the touch layer, is integrated with the display panel so it is very thin. The development of on-cell and in-cell technology makes mobile phone thinner and thinner today. Then there is a custom HDMI controller board we made for a client. The size is only 45 millimeters by 45 mm. The board is smaller than the display, so it is perfect for developers to assemble the products. Come on, hit yeah. <laughs> According to our experience, many clients need a board smaller than the display screen. Then they can put the board on the back of screen and connect it to a Raspberry Pi or other single chip board. Bezelless is also important in some products. The resolution of OLED is 800 by 600. Here is the Touch IC model is Synaptics S3601. Here is the display I see. The model is Radium R69700. The structure is traditional COG. Let us plug the display into the board. The signal interface is Micro HDMI, USB for power. Using Micro HDMI can reduce the area. OK, the display lights up. You can, the color is vivid and bright. The luminance of this display is 460 CD per square meter. Contrast ratio is 100,000 to one. The short response time of one millisecond is very suitable for game applications. Maybe some kind of handheld game console can use this 2.7 inch OLED. You know, many game PDA DIYers buy screens from us. Let us back to the HDMI controller board. The size is very small, only 45 by 45. Because it is just a sample order, our engineer manually welds for mass production. We will use SMT. The AVDD voltage of this OLED is above 5 volts, higher than the voltage supplied by HDMI. So the board must have another power in the socket. For some displays, such as 0.39 inch micro OLED, we can make a single HDMI cable solution. Look, here is one HDMI cable board for 0.39 OLED. Let me explain more about the power supply of board. If the AVDD voltage of display is higher than 5 volts, it is higher than the max voltage of HDMI, which is 5 volts. Then a USB power socket on board is necessary. In this condition, if the client only accepts one cable board, we suggest using Type-C to output video signals. If clients want a small board, a necessary thing is to make the HDMI interface, main chip, display connector on one line. For now, the MIPI to HDMI bridge chips are Toshiba and Lontium. On this board is Toshiba. We also make many boards based on Lontium chip. Here are the DC DC chips on board. Okay. It is very important to make HDMI main chip display interface on one line, real important, on one line, then the size of the board can be much smaller. Anyway, this is the experience in our previous work. Panox Display will negotiate with the developer in the start stage. This board we made also with Toshiba chip and it has an interface for an audio jack.
If clients want to get a custom board, the procedure is first, you need to give us a drawing, including interfaces, holes, etc. Panox Display will confirm the board can contain all components. Second, pay the tooling charge. Panox Display provides a very low price. Third, our engineer will place components on board. Fourth, circuit layout. Fifth, adjust the location of components. Sixth, arrange PCB factory to produce and laminate components. The last step, load the software and debug. The tooling charge can be refunded after 5,000 PCs of board production. Anyway, our tooling charge is low enough. Thanks for your watch. If you need LCD, OLED or controller board, just contact Panox Display and we will provide the best display solution for you. Come on, kick yeah. I'm gonna break it. Okay.